Feynman received his Nobel Prize for pioneering work in resolving the mathematical difficulties of quantum electrodynamics, a theory that unifies electromagnetism and quantum mechanics. He shared his prize with two other physicists who had independently hit upon the same solution. But only Feynman came up with an ingenious way to visualize subatomic processes using a set of simple pictures. These pictures, or Feynman diagrams, are a universal tool of today's physicists. Feynman was able to do it by ignoring the wave aspect completely. The pictures show you just particles traveling along in straight lines. These then were translated into mathematics, but in a very simple fashion, so that once you had the geometrical picture, it was rather simple then to go straight to the answer. And that made his methods very powerful as compared with the conventional way of doing things, which is much more analytical. It never occurred to any of us to uh, put the calculations so graphically and then to combine the electrons and the positrons in this ingenious way. That's just why he is a genius. I don't like honors. I am appreciated for the work that I did and for people who appreciate it. And I notice that other physicists use my work. I don't need anything else. I don't think there's any sense to anything else. I don't see that it makes any point that someone in the Swedish Academy decides that this work is noble enough to receive a prize. I've already got the prize. The prize is the pleasure of finding a thing out, the kick in a discovery, the observation other people use it, those are the real things. The honors are unreal to me. I don't believe in honors. It bothers me. Honors bothers me. Honors as epaulets. Honors as uniforms. My papa brought me up this way. I can't stand it. It hurts me. <laughs>